Okay, I want to do another demo. We're going to do a color brightness calculator just to do the same type of idea with number IPO. But we're going to do a little bit of a more complicated formula. We'll use the math object um, that has a bunch of extra um, functions. Math.square root is one of them. Math. Uh, has some trig stuff in there. Math.sine, cosine, tan. Um, I don't know what math.random actually, but we'll talk about that more later. And then span elements, how um, those can be useful sometimes. Okay, so I have some start code. I'll give a link to the start code on GitHub in the description so you can download that. Um, this is the start code. Okay, it doesn't do anything yet. Open up our console. Hello, console. There we go. Okay, so nothing happening. Calculate doesn't do anything. It's just got some input elements, a place for the output. And we're going to calculate the brightness of a color based on its RGB value. And the brightness is going to be a value between 0 and 255. 0 being dark and 255 being bright. So 0, 0, 0, which is black, has a luminance of 0. That's what we start with. Okay. So the start code. Now this is one spot where prettier bothers me because I had it all nice here. We've got our inputs here. R, G, and B. Right. Those are my inputs. R is, and then the input and the ID is R in. Starts off with the value of 0. And same with G and B. Oh, my button. I don't have an ID on that yet. BTN. There we go. Um, anyway, as soon as I save this, though, Prettier just it wants, to, it wants to do this. I don't know why. Anyway, I like Prettier most of the time, but sometimes I don't agree with what it does. But usually it's very helpful. Okay. And then what I want you to notice here is that I've got this paragraph that inside of the paragraph it says luminance equals zero, but then the zero is inside of a span tag. And the reason for that is just so that when I do the output, I don't need to type the entire luminance equals zero. I can just output the correct number into the span tag. It's not that hard doing it the other way. I just thought I'd show you this. Sometimes it's more convenient to use the span. So we'll use the span tag. Um, basically, span tags are used to select parts of text. They don't actually really do anything. Um, Actually, I don't think I've shown you the strong tag yet either. It's kind of like the strong tag. Strong tag selects parts of text, but the default for a strong tag is most browsers make it bold. Okay, and then in the span we can we can select it by the ID, etc. Okay, um, let's go to our JavaScript. It's empty. So first thing we always do. This should be starting to get pretty uh, pretty normal. We add a button. Click listener, right? So document, get on by ID, BTN. I always use the same, I often use the same ID for my button, so BTN. And a common mistake is when we do, I should actually show you that, when you do the wrong um, ID or it's spelled wrong. So I'll do that in a second here. BTN clicked. Sometimes I like to do incremental programming and just say, I'm going to, every time I click the button, I'm going to just log high to the console. Let's test that. Click, hi, hi, yay, it works. Okay. Why would it not work? Let's say our ID was actually button one. And I save that and go back to here, and it gives me cannot read properties of null reading at event listener main.js line four. Cannot read properties of null reading at event listener. So we're trying line four, we're trying to add an event listener to this. It's telling me that this is null. Well, why would this be null? Because it couldn't get the element. It's searching for an element with the ID BTN. It couldn't find it. So you got to make sure that the IDs match properly. Otherwise, you get that null thing. Okay, once our event listener works, we do our input, process, output. Okay, that's a very common algorithm. All right, my inputs let, um, what is it? It's RGB. I'm just going to use the letter R. And we're going to document get element by ID R in. I think that's what it was. R in G in B in. Awesome. Uh, R in dot value. Copy paste paste. We want R G B. This will be G in R G B in. And these I'm expecting these to be numerical values. So please 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 remember that plus sign in front. Okay, the value, this is important, the value of an input element is always a string. No matter what, it's a string. So we need to convert it into a number. All right, 
plus sign converts that string into a number, stores it in my variable. Now, my calculation here is a little more complicated. It's the square root of 0 0.299 times r squared plus 0 0.587 times g squared plus anyway. So to do the square root, like I said, there's this math dot, and you can see there's all sorts of ceiling, cosine, exponents, floor, hypotenuse, logs, max and min, pi is the constant, random, round, sine, square root, tan, all sorts of stuff. Absolute. We're going to do math dot square root, and you do it like this. Math dot square root, you pass in a number, and it'll return the square root of that number. Okay? So we'll go math dot square root of whatever all of this stuff is on the inside. Okay, and because I'm not going to remember this formula, let's put this. I'm just going to close this for a second. Let's put this on the side here. And let's put my code on the side here so that I can actually do this formula properly. Okay. So my process, let's call it... Yeah, luminance or brightness, they kind of are synonymous. Um, so let, let's just call this, let's call this brightness. Let brightness be assigned. So I'm going to go math.square root. All right, and what am I going to take the square root of? Well, i got to do all of this calculation. Here we go. Okay. 0 0.299. Now a common mistake here again is to do um, the R... And then remember, squared is star star 2. In math class, this looks good, right? The 0 0.299 bracket R means multiplication. But in JavaScript, doing a bracket like that means that we're trying to invoke a function, right? Get element by D bracket means call that function. Math out square root, call that function. So it's going to think that 0 0.299 is a function that you're trying to invoke. So when you do this, you have to implicitly say star. I want to multiply, right? 0 0.299 times r squared. And it's general practice to put spaces in between the operators. It usually makes your code easier to read. Okay, plus 0 0.587 times g squared plus 0 0.114 times b squared. Okay. So the star star for the exponents, the math dot square root, a little bit more of a complicated formula, but we can still do it all in one line. If you wanted to, you could break it up in two variables. You could calculate the inside and then pass that into the square root. But I think this is, this is okay. Uh, just double check, times r squared, that times g squared, plus that times b squared. Okay, and then our output... For our output, we're just going to check right here, right? This number here. I don't have to type luminance equals. I'm just going to output the number. So documents.getElementById output.innerHTML, right? That's how we, we change the inner HTML of the span element. Right now, the inner HTML is a zero. So we reassign the inner HTML to B brightness. Did I spell that wrong? Yes. Brightness. There we go. And it's kind of nice because if I do spell it wrong, notice how this dims. It's like, hey, you declared this variable, but you never read it. You never accessed its value. So then it brightens. Ah, I didn't even plan that. Okay, so we just put that number, the result of this calculation goes into this iteration there. Save that, and let's give it a try. So let's go white. The um, luminous, uh, the brightness of, of white should be 255, pretty much. Um, ooh, I wonder if we should use math.round. And math.round just rounds it off to the nearest whole number. That's kind of cool, might be kind of cool. 255, 255 and gives me the 255, nice. Uh, let's do something like uh, 180, 255, zero. Gives me brightness of 219. Sure, I don't actually have a way to validate these things, but it seems reasonable. Uh, let's lower this and that should decrease the brightness. 
Good. Decrease the brightness. Lower this to 100. Decrease the brightness again. And that's that. Okay, let me just double check the notes here. Math.square root, we also use math.round. The span elements we talked about. What else? Remembering the plus sign. Oh yeah, the, the brackets there. But yeah, just be careful with that. And that should be it. Okay, so like I said, I hope you're getting used to it. This is a very common, get that event listener working so that when we click the button, it runs this function. And then the function is the, our main program where we get the input, process that output, input, sorry, process the input, and then output the result. And uh, yeah, this time we output it into the span. We could have also gone, right, you could have built a message here, right? Like, let message be assigned luminance equals dollar sign brightness right and then we would have said hey get the get the paragraph or right? give the paragraph an id this class is just for styles i'm um, gonna give the paragraph an id and then set the paragraph to be this message but i kind of like that it it says the luminance equals zero at the beginning so i like that it's already there and then we just update the number okay that is that. Hope that made sense. Take care and see you in the next video.